I'm set outside St. Helens Town Hall. I should have called it New Town Hall. It's not New Town Hall, but it is technically New Town Hall. We did have another town hall on that site. Um, it, that one was completed in 1839, but it got badly fired damaged in 1871 I think it was say around that year so we decided to just uh, build a new town hall completely that was completed in 1876 so wait till these bloody buses go past so, the original town hall um, it was mainly just a, a hall public meeting house basically might have had some fancy offices and it is noted, and they are still here to this day. There's some cells, lockups, still in the town hall. Um, the church, uh, well, the spire, the steeple, the clock tower there, it had a steeple. That burnt down in 1913 before the king and queen at the time, that would have been King George V and the Queen Murrah, visited St. Helens. Uh, they went over to look at the raven. Hotel to a thing called the May have had a drink at their Raven Hotel. That's just uh, up the road on Church Street, I think it's called Church Street anyway. So, yeah, the new town hall, uh, we've had some visits, as mentioned, just by royalty. We had uh, King George V and Queen Murrah. Uh, Queen Elizabeth came and visited in 1936, I think it was around that year. And I think she's visited. Um, uh, a bit more recent than that too. I would just like to see some more view of the town hall. Um, around back of me here, uh, just south of or west, southwest, south or west of Birchley Street, we had uh, St. Helens original train station or St. Helens Central Station, which was behind me off Birchley Street. But if you do have a good look on Birchley Street, uh, you can see the bridgeheads coming over the road on. Um, I forgot the street's name, I'm not too good with remembering street names, but you can see a bridgehead coming over the road onto Birchley Street if you look hard enough. So that would have just been behind us here. Uh, we've got the Gamble building over there. Uh, so, David, Sir Thomas Gamble, Sir Gamble, he was um, one of the mayors of St. Helens, I think. Um, and he had some buildings put around the secured the funding for us to have the technical college so that's what that was once upon a time uh, the tech say tell it's tech campus another bloody five buses so yeah that was say tell tech campus once upon a time it's now the libraries and archive service rightfully so being done up and finally renovated so queen victoria herself now there's rumors to be tunnels underneath queen victoria that's a funny one. There's said they moved her to conceal some tunnels. Queen Victoria, Victoria used to be over there near the Senator, but they've moved her over here. Uh, so then my little walk talk of Town Hall. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. No, I'm gonna try and do a tour of St. Helens to today. Try is the big word. I don't know what to put in and what I can put in and what information I should put in and what should lay information I should leave out. So I'm not too sure. Probably just like, here's the shopping centres, here's a bit of history, here's this pub, here's a bit of history of the pub. But yeah, just follow me around and see what we can see. Hello, so we would have started off at St. Helens Town Hall, but we're going to carry on uh, the video, try extend it a bit. Um, we're going walking down the Ravenhead Greenway, as it's called. St. Helens Canal, pocket nuke section. So, a bit where after the Sankina Canal was built, and everyone stopped doing that. After the Sankina Canal was built, um, it was extended a few times, and this is one of the extensions which was put in. Let's have a look at the date. We should have a date. Where's my date? Alright, we're going to have to read this sign one minute. So, Ravenhead Greenway forms an important link into the centre of St Helens providing opportunities for informal uh, recreation, walking, cycling, fishing. The Greenway also acts as an improved, oh, important corridor for wildlife by linking green spaces and the management of wildlife. Sites such as Thato Heath Meadow for nature and the benefits of communities on those doorsteps. Raven Ned Greenway connects Thato Heath Park in the south to Brownfield in the north. 
to the south of the town centre, the Greenway landscapes has been created by restoration of former industrial sites through the water land to the woodland projects as part of a wider Mersey forest initiative, the north. It follows line uh, of St Helens Canal and branches at the double lots west to College Street and east to Merton Bank. Open space with links Sankey Valley, uh, Sankey Valley by uh, Bosworth Field. Opened in 1757 and originally called the Sankey Brook Navigation, St Helens Canal was the first industrial canal in England. The canal carried coal from collieries in Blackbrook and Daydock to Liverpool trade developed later in the opposite direction bringing copper ore from Anglesey, Paris Mountain should I mention and salt from Cheshire for the fast growing smelting and chemical industries of St Helens used like in copper work and copper production nail making a lot of that in Billingen and Rainhill. By the beginning of the 20th century use of the canal declined and uh, stretches of the town centre were filled allowed to become derelict however the council and Sankey Canal Restoration Society scars are committed to returning the whole canal to a full navigable navigation since 1990 sections from the world of glass to the new double locks have been restored by council with assistance from scars the canal corridor improvement uh, has continued with more recent restoration of lime or lime yard uh, lion ship yard open space through tree planting and meadows view of uh, the canal railways Ah, this would have been a swing bridge coming over here, but view of Canal Circa 1950 showing railway spring bridge and drain canal. The buildings in the middle, which were there, buildings in the middle distance are those of the St. Helens Chemical Works in the far distance of the bridge. Uh, takes over Corporation Street over the canal. So this doesn't actually have a date of extension. It doesn't... Shows you the key here, so we'll get a picture of the key. So we're going to follow the canal from um, from the Green, Green Ravenhead Greenway section down Pocket Nook to the double locks where the canal connects up to Sutton Brook and well, it kind of connects up to oh Sutton Brook, Sankey Brook, Hardshaw Brook. They all connect all over the short round here. To be honest, all the brooks, and that's uh, how Henry Berry, uh, who envisioned and pioneered. The navigation, Sankey navigation route to canal. Um, that's where his idea came from. We can't use the brook in its entire length to get to Liverpool, but if we knock some sections here and there and dig some trenches, we can make it all connect and put boats and barges on it. So I'm going to shut up and turn you around now. <sighs> Oh, we've got St. Helens Tech Campus there too, St. Helens Technical College. That's on the other side of the, uh, of the canal. Um, sad to see, obviously, 180, 280, is it? <laughs> to nearly 200, 300 years worth of, uh, use has took its toll. <coughs> You got the, uh, as we we call it, but locally the burgies, all that like hill in the background, uh, massive massive chemical dumps. Back in the day, they were going to put houses up up there, but uh, the land's still too dirty. Can't get any drainage down. I don't think up there. But, um, opposite the burgies, you've got well. I think it's Cowley Hill, Cowley Hill, so where uh, most of Pilkington's and all the glass production of St. Helens is moving over to Cowley Hill, uh, most of it, so there's not going to be much of Pilkington's in the south centre. 
Uh, I think Water Street's shutting down. Watery Street to Watery Lane. Uh, I think it's only plant number five that's going to continue production. Correct me if I'm wrong though, please. So, because I don't know the condition of the walls of the canal, um, they've had to put this fence up here in case uh, people are walking on it and it falls, falls in. But it's crumbling, the poor girl. It's crumbling. Uh, so this is quite significant, this part. If you have a look across the water there, what do we see? People call it a pillbox. I, I've heard it called something else recently. I've seen the photo with the name of it next to it. But uh, St. Helens Central, if you watch the beginning of my video, used to be located just off uh, Birchley Street car park around them ways. So the original rail line used to come over the, the canal here. You can see where it comes over, the bridge is connected. And it curved around, connected up to the main line as we know it today, and went across the road over to Birchley Street to a halt. So, yeah, we've still got the evidence of the railway foot running over here. Then up this hill here. I think it would have ran along this hill. It went to, um, is it Liverpool and St. Helens South Lancashire Railway or something? Uh, I can't remember the exact uh, pronunciation of it. But yeah, that was this line kind of, if uh, that's the right pronunciation. Uh, so it's, it, 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 I'm trying to think of uh, the connections where it connected up to this line. I know it went up to Wigan. I think it went up to Lee too. Something's telling me Lee or somewhere like that I'll have to have a look at the railway map so don't give me so much rubbish, uh, I don't know, don't give me too much correction there uh, or correct me if I'm wrong there what was the rail railway line that ran here so yeah the canal does sorry I've not, to, not even mentioned I think the railway carried on over here but um, we can't carry on down the canal up, up to Pocket Nuke from this section now uh, the double lock here is, it's the first double lock in the world, I think, uh, first triple lock in the world, but it's crumbling or they're saying it's going to crumble. So we've got to come through this alleyway, cross Merton Bank, the canal still runs there where them trees are underneath it, but we've got to go through Merton Bank, uh, cross Merton Bank Road, <coughs> um, onto what we call, uh, I can't remember. The mollies, I think. That's what we call it locally, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching so far. Anyway, we've had the town hall. I'll add a bit more into the town hall, uh, but it's only going to be like a minute clip of me. Look at this, basically. But that's going to be inside. We've got some photos of the outside. The town hall thing's going to be all right so I just needed to extend the video a bit now why not walk down the canal <sighs> we've just came off that crappy little industrial estate Merton Bank or Merton Road Merton Industrial Estate straight on to Ravenhead Greenway so it's that's what it's called across here to Ravenhead Greenway way we just know it know it locally as the mollies or I've always have done anyway Merton Bank's open space Yeah, we had a railway or two coming through here. Uh, I think it went across Ashurst Drive, though. I think it went across... Well, I think it's Ashurst Drive. 
pretty sure it is. Um, me and a few other local explorers in the next few weeks are do doing the challenge. I'm going to set off from uh, St. Helens by the Tesco. I work Tesco used to be the range. And we're going to walk the length of the canal straight down to Witness and back all uh, 16 and a bit miles of it. So the plan is there, we'll do a bit of wild camping. I'm going to camp next to the canal. Set back off at 8 in the morning or something. <laughs> I follow the the original canal. Well, it was the cutting. It'll tell me a bit further up when this was cut. I'm pretty sure it gives you the information. in the trees there they went in cut a lot of trees down in the centre of the it does help to help the ground uh, what they've done there helps light get to the ground obviously if you've got a thick dense wood there's no well light coming to the ground you won't have anything really growing on ground level all the trees take over it Remember last year's motto? Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> yeah, it's back. Guess what's back? It's motivation. So, if I'm right, I'm not sure if I am. But I, am I think I am right. Oh, that's a good picture though. Um, yeah, if I'm right, the railway, I think, ran on this side. I can't be 100% because I've not seen the map of around it here yet. I've only looked at Hay Haydock and Par. I'm pretty sure it cut over, went across a shift drive there, and came back across the road. But it might have even came across the road down here. Might have been two ways it came across the road, but there is a railway bridge I have seen. No longer there further up and um, you can still see the cut into where that railway came through behind St Augustine's Oh, sore ankle. I'm not giving it time to rest or heal. <laughs> oh. I'm 
coming up to where, where I think it was Par Hall that was here. Par Hall on this corner somewhere. I think it was where the Lidl is now. Um, so that's something to note. We used to have Par Hall here. I think Frog Hall was on Havana. I'll have to have a look at the maps again. Honestly, just get on old maps. If you hear me referring to something, just Google old maps and it gives you, up, gives you one of the best internet pages to find any ordnance survey map. It's just a shame you can't print them. So we're coming up to the junction between, well, the junction of Ravenhead Greenway or the St. Helens section of the canal to the Sankey Canal. So where the barges would have went, got onto the Sankey Canal on the corner here. Uh, onto the Sankey Brook. Uh, but it also, you, you can follow the canal to where it used to go. Have you seen what they've done here? cleared the banks so look one sec look what they've done here um they've extended the banks of the canal so yeah they've cut the banks out they've got the original stone here so yeah uh the waterway now continues across the road but it also merges with the sankey brook here uh Runs all the way down to Widnes from here. So it was navigable or navigable uh, by 1752, I think, this waterway. But he wasn't allowed to call it a canal, they weren't allowed to call it a Sankey Canal or Navigation Canal or Sankey Brook Navigation Brook. One, two, or three, or four of them. See, they've dug it out more there. Sorry, I bloody paused the video when I weren't supposed to. But we weren't allowed to call it a canal. So that's why navigation, Sankey navigation, whatever it was called. <sighs> so this is where it connects with the Sankey Brook down there. Then we're going to follow, well we're not really, we're going to end it here kind of. It's opened 1757 and officially closed in 1975. So that's been the Ravenhead section of the Sankey Canal, the Ravenhead Greenway of Sankey Canal. Uh, Correct me where I've had me miss, correct me where I need correcting. Uh, I know my information isn't too far off. The railway and canal carried on. Canal here. There's one of the stones, some more stones along here. Over there to the double locks. Blackbrook Canal Basin went up to there too. That's just about 10 minute walk from us here. And yeah, I think that's it all. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. So, this is where the railway came over. Here ish. Right, uh, I'm just eating some chocolates. Here we go. So, you can still see the cutting for the railway. Straight down there, there would have been a bridge located around here somewhere. Oh, too many cars and people. So yeah, you can see where it went, straight down to Boardman's Lane. Oh, that's, that's me done done. I'll see you on the next one, one one.